So what's good everybody? Welcome back to Chef Junie's TV. Today we got another episode of In The Kitchen where I bring you simple and easy recipes for you to try out in the comfort of your home. On today's episode of In The Kitchen, we're gonna be doing a Cajun style stuffed shrimp with crab. We're gonna stuff the shrimp with crab, all right? I got a special guest today, as you guys can see, Miss Gina Views, AKA the whole fesser. Oh! Right? commentator, spicy curator, Gina Views, or the whole the fesser. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get into all that. We're gonna get into Gina Views and find out all about her. Like she said, rap commentator, doing big things right now on No Jumper Podcast, got her series, Whole Fashions. She got a lot we're going to talk about, and we're just going to get into it, all right? So for our listening greetings today, we got some jumbo shrimp. You guys already know how we do the shrimp. We do the big shrimp. These are size 8 to 10, which is pretty large shrimp. We got some crab meat right here. Our PPP money ran out, so we couldn't get... <laughs> We couldn't get the lump crab. We had to get the crab claws. Uh, the, PPP. the PPP ran out. So we had to get the... The, the SBA the, falling in. The, okay, next episode we'll get the lump. <laughs> but this one we're going to get the, uh, the crab legs, all right? So we got some crab meat right here. I'm just playing the PPP. Dude. This is all they had at the store, right? <laughs> so we got some Parmesan cheese. We got some butter. We got some lemons. We got some breadcrumbs. We got, you already know, the Chef Junior's all-purpose seasoning. We're going to use some of that. We got some hot sauce. We got some wishes. How do you say that? Your wishes. We got some mayo. Of course, we keep in the class. We got some wine. We're going to cheers it up real quick. Mmm, delicious. Now, Gina was telling me that. like money. Gina was telling me that if we fill it up to the glass, we ghetto. No, no, no. That's what Twitter said. Oh, Twitter. Twitter said. Twitter said if it goes to the rim, you ghetto. I'm a nigga. I'm gonna fill mine up. I, the I was just gonna take but it from the bottle, today. but we're gonna be classy today. Yeah. All right. Um, this episode is sponsored by Higher Vibration. Shout out to Amy, my girl. She sponsored this video today. So we got a lot of stuff for you today. All right. Okay. So from Higher Vibration, we got this little, Aww. we got this little gift box for you. You guys can see that right there. We got some stuff in here for you. We got the um, the soap. Okay. We got some. What's this? The scrub. The scrub, it got a nice crystal in there. What's that crystal for? It's scrub. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a what? Amethyst crystal. It's good luck. Then we got some yoni, some yoni gel. Oh, for the twat. Yeah, you know, we got some body butter. Okay, then let's we got some body butter, cause I like my body butter. Right, then we got some, I mean, you uh, see my skin? Yeah, nice and glistening, yeah. there we go. Yeah. And then we got the, the yoni oil. I don't know what they do with the yoni oil. You know what the yoni is? I know what a yoni is, but I don't know what they do with the oil and gel and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is it right here. This is it right that here. One. Thank so you. So that's that gift box right there. Right? And we also got some stuff that you got the Chef Junior knife. You know? Who you know from the hood with their own brand yes, of knife? Yes, because let somebody pull up to the script. Right, right, right. Because I don't play that. She don't play that. I can take this home with me? You can take this, 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 you can take this home with me? I can take all this with me? All this, all this. This is your cutting board. I like when niggas give gifts. See? That's how we do it oh, around I'm here. Using yeah, this. you're using okay. that today. And we also you, got... You, you know who don't cook, huh? Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, put the knife back in the pot. <laughs> we also got this... Uh, we got this collab with I Love LA Girls, the Chef Joni apron. As you guys can see that right there. So this is for you. I don't know if you want to wear this one today. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Y'all done messed up now. We, you know what I'm about to do when I get home? Cook. Naked. Oh, hey. <laughs> Take a picture and post it. <laughs> we got the uh, Chef Junie TV t-shirt for okay. you. Okay. We got the Chef Junie season for you to take home. Okay. Then we also got this shirt. Bobby, you want to come talk about this shirt from uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. LSD, Customs by LSD? I'll let you step in and, and present her with the shirt. One of my Does that say my name? It's all good, prayer. We get, we get in there, we get in there. So, uh, my homegirl LSD, Customs by LSD, she's a painter. And uh, I was like, okay, what can I do for Gina that's different? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you're a busy woman, you're taking your time out of your schedule to come fuck with us. So I'm like, okay, everything that I, I would think is an accomplishment for you, uh, I think is on this shirt. We ain't, we, we ain't got a makeup person on here, so you can't be crying and stuff. You can't be crying and stuff. We, we ghetto around here, you know? Thank you. And 
also got some. Um, it's a sock. I, I like socks, so I just started decided to start making socks. Um, it's called My Inner Soul, and these are called Soul Snatchers. Thank you so much. No problem. No problem. Oh. So if y'all want to know if thugs cry, you already seen it right here. <laughs> thugs do cry. <laughs> so this is really nice. This is all your little gifts that we got for you. You know, like I said, we appreciate you coming through, taking time out of your busy schedule. You can take the cutting board home, the knife home, and all that good stuff, right? <clears throat> and we also got the higher vibrations gift box. But we're gonna get right into this video. Y'all gonna really make me emotional like first five minutes. I mean, saying, I mean oh, good. that means I'm about to be a good. Right, thing. right. I just don't want nobody out here thinking they can disrespect my cripping. No, nah, we ain't right. disrespecting your cripping. Uh, -uh. y'all already know. Put some respect on her name. All right, so what we gonna do now is I'm gonna let you clean these shrimp. You know. They gonna see me clean it. Yeah, they gonna see you clean it. You, you gonna know? tell me what it is? I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Johnny. I'm gonna show you. Put some gloves well, on. Well, I buy the shrimp. It's already done. Right, but th where's the fun in that? <laughs> where's the fun in that? Oh my goodness! All right, cut that part up. Let's just just tell me what to do, and then we are gonna cut it to make it look like I know what I'm doing. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make it simple and easy for you. All right. I'm trying to get married 2022. Right, see, you need some cooking skills. <laughs> Kevin Samuel said you gotta know how to cook. Fuck Kevin Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't disrespect the Godfather like that. Uh huh. So what we're going to do now is you're just going to take the knife uh -huh. and we're going to cut it straight down the back like that. Oh, okay. Right? Simple, right? And then I got to get the boo-boo out. And you got to get the boo-boo out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the boo-boo out like that. We're going to take it and we're going to leave the knuckle on. This is called the knuckle. Okay. This part of the shrimp is called the knuckle. We're going to leave that on for presentation. And it's simple. Just like that, we get the boo-boo out and then you got it nice and clean. But this is not the last step. We got to do another step to this, all right? You got to go in the water. Yeah, you got to go in the water. Um, get that bowl for me right there. All right, so we're going to put that to the side like that. And then I'm going to let you do the rest. Okay. And I'm going to sit here and watch. I'm going to ask you some questions while we're doing this. All right. All right. So my first question is, how was COVID for you? How did you hold up during COVID? COVID ain't existed in my, in my house. But I think... <laughs> As far as business, as far as getting um, out there, as far as COVID, actually, um, and this is probably because it didn't happen for everybody, but COVID, I would say, was a it was a positive thing for me. Um, I was able to work from home. I did did have a regular job. I was able to work from home and um, get more things accomplished because I wasn't in the office every day. Right. So I was able to utilize that time and still company hours, right. and shit, you know, for myself. I could leave and run errands and stuff like that. I could, you know, take certain business calls and things like that. I got on the jumper during COVID. Um, whole session did really. Oh, uh, you got a little bit of poop left. A little, little, little shit still in there, you know. Whole sessions did really well for COVID. That's um, good. Just because everybody was on their phone so much. Right. So, so many people was just tapping in. Like, I need something to watch. I need something to, right. you know, keep me busy. Because, of course, ESPN, they was playing for the video games. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> it was no games. It was no sports going on. We couldn't go to the movies or anything like that. So, I would say Hope Fashion did really well during COVID. But, um, yeah, I I think I might have had the motherfucker about seven times. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was about to go get tested and be a test dummy and find out. Right, right, right. But um, I, I would say that COVID might have been one of the greatest things that, not greatest, but one of the best things that happened within um, for me. Right. I feel the same way because during COVID, um, everybody was at home. Yep. Everybody was at home. No restaurants was open. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a call from my dog, uh, OT Genesis. Shout out to my uh, people's Cali Pick. They, they hooked that up for me. Um, like, OT need a chef for tonight. Uh -huh. And I was like, if it's serious, I'm going to come through. Yeah. Came through. It was like, I, I, and this is like in the beginning of the pandemic. I didn't know what I was going to cook because all the stores was out of stuff. I was like, oh, I can't wow. let this opportunity pass, though. This yeah. OT Genesis. You know, this is big league, you know? Right, right. So I go over there. I cook some stuff. And ever since then, it was like during COVID, it was like, yo, 
uh, I want you to come cook tonight. I want you to come cook tonight. And uh, I'm always going to appreciate OT Genesis and shout out to AD and everybody over there um, because he opened the door for me to do a lot of other stuff like cooking for Charlie Wilson and mm -hmm. doing different events. And so pandemic was good for me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I'm trying to go into another shit now. Yeah, that's that's what I'm just saying. This, right this, this, this is too much traffic for me. I'm like, yo, everybody should have to go back home. Right. You know, but yeah, COVID, uh, COVID was good for me. You know, I probably got COVID ten times too. Yeah. Because I was always out in the mix and at different parties and stuff. But you know, we gonna keep that on the hush. I, I also learned self care. Self care, yeah. During COVID, yeah, I was able to find out more things about me, learn how to be by myself and not be with you know so social and right. kind of people and stuff like that. So I, I think I definitely spend a lot of time with myself and my dog. And your dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, with that being said, let's talk more about Whole Fashions. Um, what made you want to start Whole Fashions? Um, so Whole Fashions came about because I would pitch my other show, which is GXPO TV, mm -hmm. um, where I interview up and coming artists and cyphers and stuff like that. I would pitch it to like a various of like companies, organizations and things to, you know, get some backing. Right. And they felt like, you know, when you talk to us in person, we can see your personality, but when we um, look at the content, we don't see your personality, we don't see who you are. Right. So the show is great, but Gina Views as a personality, we don't see that, you know, coming off too much in, uh, on uh, GSM TV. Right. So um, I said, well, I need to come up with something that showcases me as a, uh, you know, as a, as a host, as a media personality, and, um, you know, just show, show people my, me, you right, know, right, my right. personality and stuff like that. At the same time that that was going on, um, R. Kelly's, uh, what was it called? Survivor and R. Kelly? Oh, okay, yeah, documentary. That, yeah, that documentary had just came out, and all of those girls was giving their testimony, and I was like, well, damn, what if I do something like this with people telling their truths? Right. And I had to think of a way to make it as best discreet as possible, so I copied Cheryl Strawberry. Okay. Cheryl Strawberry's on the Steve Harvey Morning right. Show. She does uh, the Strawberry Letter every morning, a show that I grew up listening to on the way to school right, with right, my yeah, grandmother. Yeah. And um, I thought that that concept and the way that she did it was fucking phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, so shit, I'm the friend that everybody called and be like, hey, Gina. Right, right. I was with this dude. I was messing with this ball player. I was with this rapper and stuff, you know, you know, just, just on some like girl talk right, right. type stuff. And um, shoot, I was like, do y'all mind if I use, you know, some of y'all stories for the first few episodes? And they were with it. Um, a lot of my friends sent me stories in. And um, I made one video just to see how it would do, and then people fucking left it. Okay. So I just made sure that I stay as discreet as possible as far as um, not mentioning any specific names, specific locations, right. or anything like that, so that, you know, people wouldn't know who the stories was about or even, you know, who sent them in and stuff. Um, also, I wanted it to be educational. Okay. So that's yeah, when I've seen that. I incorporated the you know feminine hygiene tips and stuff like that, so that um, and people get condoms lost messy. inside of them. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of things that you deal with, you know, sexually, you might think you're the only person right, dealing with right. it, but it's fucking common. Like you just said, the condoms being lost inside of you. Like I'm sure that's happened to everybody in this fucking room at right. one point. You know, but um, yeah, that's pretty much how hope fashions came about. So what do you think about the stigma around the word hope? Um, like growing up back in the day, hoe was a bad thing, but it yeah. seemed like women kind of took that word and turned it into something. Something positive. Yeah. I think the stigma around the word hoe um, and the definition is still current, um, and that's why every freaking show that I do, I let it be known. You submitting a story does not mean you're a hoe. Right. It just means you did some hoe shit. All right. We all got we a little all, bit we of We all, we all did some hoe shit before. It ain't on this is You <laughs> right. did it before. Might be a you know a surviving hoe. Right, right. <laughs> a recovering hoe. Yeah, yeah, you know, I feel you. I feel you. It's not. I mean, it's not that bad. Right. Me. I think, like you said, a lot of things are more so accepted now. Uh -huh. So. Well, I kind of got a bone to pick with you because I saw one of your whole fashions. There was somebody said one about you. No, 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 no. I saw one of your whole fashions. You said something about dudes with long hair. Like, why are you discriminating against the dudes with long hair?
this discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a preference. Okay, so it's a preference. It's just my preference. Okay, okay. Because, like, I just can't have no nigga with hair longer than mine. Right. Like, that's just what it yeah. is. Like, what I look like with your hair right, right, longer right, than right. mine. It's like you and your girl going to the barbershop together. It's a little yeah, that's, you, I feel you on that one. You get what I'm saying? I, can't, I don't like no bald headed hoes. Yeah. yeah. I have a thing against dreads because they just look a funny way to me. Right. And then, like, I don't know. Me and my nigga just can't be laying our baby hairs that <laughs> Like, you're not about to use my extra toe brush. What was, what's the wildest whole fashion story you've heard? Um, I think the most recent one, the last episode, the girl had sex at work. Oh, okay. With I the kinda co-worker. Want, yeah, at the, the, the CNA. Next to a dead body. Next to a dead body, yeah. That's yeah, kinda. it was just like, like all right, I think, sis. Well, no, the term, they got people that have sex with dead people. Yeah, that's a little rapey. Yeah, that's that's yeah. yeah. That's a little, they got a whole yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's a little sick. I'm too early in my career to get into that. I'm too early to get into that. <laughs> We're just gonna rinse these off with some cold water. But yeah, that was that was pretty crazy when I heard that story. They had sex next to the dead body. What was her name? Miss 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 uh dang, I don't know her name. Maybe Sheila. Miss Sheila, something like that, yeah. Like that. Rest yeah. In rest in peace, Miss Sheila. Yeah. Hopefully your grandkids didn't hear that story. Yeah. And now they they they, they uh, look at <laughs> 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 I right, air that shit out. Y'all doing it next to my granny's right. body. Her nerves are still in, you know. Exactly. Her yeah. still in the body. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these shrimp. Okay. And to stuff them, we're going to kind of just go all the way down. We're not going to cut all the way through. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go all the way down like that. Okay. But we don't want to go all the way through. So when we stuff the shrimp, we're going to stuff it like that. So the, the crab meat is gonna sit right on top like that. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna help you out. We are gonna go ahead and cut some of those up. The gloves. Thank you. All right. Now we gonna get we gonna get into the petty bag a little bit. All right. Oh. We gonna we gonna jump into this petty bag a little bit. Uh, I want to know what is the pettiest way you broke up with somebody. Well, I've been single since '93. You been single since '93, oh, so you ain't never broke up with nobody. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well then, <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, I guess we move on to the next question. <laughs> um, no, I've been in a relationship. Um, I don't think I've had a petty breakup. I think I've, I've experienced somebody breaking up with me in a petty way. Though. How did they break up with you? Um, they just didn't say nothing. It was just kind of like I just knew it was a wrap. I mean, that ain't petty. That's just some nigga shit. We just do that. No, but you We just go have, ghost. You got to have some type of communication. I'm cutting on the inside or the outside? The, the inside. Straight down okay. the back like that. Um, so we're going to take it down like that. Not all the way through, but mostly through. Okay. Yeah, you, know, you have to have some type of form of communication when you break up with somebody. Y'all got to get into it or something. Like, we didn't get into it. We didn't it just no went. It just, it just was like, oh, I think I might have opened this one. You good. The pettiest way I broke up with somebody was I left her at the movie theater. You left her at the movie theater. Yeah. Why? It was the movie was that bad? Nah, she said something I didn't like. Her breath stank. Her breath stank a little bit. Omg. Yeah, she said something I didn't like. What she say? I forgot. You forgot? Yeah, it was something like she's like something about my baby mama or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, she said something. Yeah. She said something like something I forgot. I forgot what it was, but then and the cold thing about it was she drove. Wait, so did y'all go together or was y'all on We a date? went together. There was your girlfriend? No, 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 no. It was a date. No, it was a date. Okay. I was in my whole phase of my life, so I didn't have girlfriends oh. at the time. She probably thought she was my girlfriend, but... Yeah. You know. I mean, y'all was on a... If I go on a date with a nigga, we'll go together. Oh, I guess... I guess she thought we went together. Did y'all do it? No. Oh, y'all didn't go to... You don't even know her. Well, did we do it that night? Did you oh, have we? Did. Yeah, I sm did. yeah, I smashed before. Bro. No, 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 no. Y'all didn't go together then. So she said some crazy shit to me and I left her at the movie theater. I feel bad because she drove and I had her car key. You took her car? No, I, I, I left the car. I took an Uber. That's some light skin nigga shit. <laughs> oh, MG. No, that was a fake story. I just made that up. Oh. I okay. thought it would sound good for camera. It sounded yeah, good. Yeah, so I just made that up. Oh, yeah. so you haven't had any? No, I haven't. Had, put these back in here? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I haven't had any. I haven't had any petty breakups. I'm a good guy. You're a good guy. Light skin dudes, we good guys. Oh, don't say that though. We are. We good. Yeah, no, don't make but we that. Ain't, up. We ain't soft, but we good guys. 
Yeah, but like that's a stretch. Good guys I mean, is like a stretch. You don't think so? No. We are good guys. I've had a bad experience with all my bad experience came from um the uh and the I'm, and, and, I'm and I'm Pisces, so I'm sensitive. You a Pisces? Yeah, so I can't do nobody dirty. <laughs> What's wrong with Pisces? What do you got? You and Justin the boy. What y'all got against Pisces? I just don't like What we do? do you, got, you got hurt by Pisces? I am sensitive. Mm -hmm, I can't be hurt. What'd you say I'm sensitive? I'm not sensitive. Oh. I'm a thug. A <laughs> I'm a thug. <laughs> All right. I don't do sensitivity. What's the pettiest thing you took from a breakup or from an ex? What you mean took? Like took back or you gave him something, you took it back or like... I need to come get my Q-tips that I left over there. I don't do that because I think that that's like a form of holding on. But I purchased something for somebody and didn't give it to them. What did you purchase? Some shoes. Some shoes? Some Jordans? It was Jordans? my birthday. I bought them like three pairs of shoes. Oh. And then we got into it. And I was like, well, you're not getting your shoes. Well, cheers to not giving them shoes. Mm -hmm. You're not about to be wearing my gifts with a new bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, why not? Why for? We gonna, we gonna leave that one like that, man. <laughs> we gonna go ahead and season some of this shrimp up. We gonna hit some of this shrimp with some of the Chef Jimmy's All Purpose Spice. Yeah. You already know y'all can get that. Links in the description box down below. And go ahead and just. So this ain't got a lot of salt, mm -hmm. but it's real flavorful. Can I smell it? Okay. You know how the kernel got 11 herbs and spices? Mm -hmm. I got 12. I heard that. Yeah, so fuck it's the kernel. King. You know? Fuck the kernel. Fuck the kernel. Mm, yeah. Uh, so we're going to season that up. You can go ahead and mix that up. Is this like a, 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 a sanitary thing, changing the gloves every every time we touch a new? Yes. Hit a new step? Yes. Me personally, I like to use my hands. Uh -huh. But I don't feel like washing my hands every 30 seconds. Right, right, right. So right now we're going to use gloves and gotcha. do it that way. Note it. But yeah, you can use gloves, you know. So just get yeah, in there? Yeah, just go ahead and massage it up okay. and get it nice and, you know. Yeah. Can uh, somebody pass me one of those bowls over there? The big one? That's good? Yeah, that's good. All right. Not yet. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make the filling for the, sh the shrimp, all right? Okay. So we're going to use some of this crab, right? That's a lot of crab. Um, Actually, I'm going to make you cut up the bell peppers, too. Uh -oh. So, no, I need those. I need those, yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and wipe the knife off for you. All right. So, let's go ahead and get those bell peppers. We're going to cut them up as small as you can get them. Oh, this knife's the truth. I'm saying, you know, it's one of those Chef Junior knives. Oh, nice, I mean. See? No, this, this, this is not a lot of, not a lot of work goes into using these knives, this right? This ain't that Walmart. Right. No, this ain't that Walmart. So then cut them this way, right? Yeah, so we going to, we want to You know how to do that thing when you go. What are you talking about, like this? Yeah. Okay, let me try that. Well, let me, let me show you how to do it first. First of all, you hold the knife on. You want to hold the knife like this. Like this? Yeah, not like that. Less control that way, more control this way, right? Uh -huh. And when you're doing that, you want to get your knuckles behind. You want to use your knuckles as a guide. Uh -huh. And then you just want to use the knife. Let the knife do the work. Just rock it back and forth. No. <laughs> <laughs> just rock it, you know, nice and slow rock in motion. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you get it, man. Oh, I thought somebody said something. Right? Oh, shit. Let's see? Uh -oh. We don't want no nails in there. Like and then when you when you when you good you can just look away you don't even have to look at the oh you can do it with your eyes i'm saying like all right let me see we ain't got no assurance so all right. <laughs> <laughs> almost you almost had it i'm gonna stop playing over here i can't do that yet 
All right. So you got yours, I got mine. So we're gonna go ahead and add it to the crab meat like that. That's good. Uh -huh. You need olive? No, you good. <laughs> so then we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. We're gonna add about half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add some of uh, Marie Sharps. We're gonna shout out to Marie Sharps because this was one of the first sponsors of Chef Junie's TV. It's a uh, hot sauce from Belize. This mm -hmm. is one from Belize. So we're gonna use some Marie Sharps hot sauce up in here, about a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Give it a little kick. We're gonna use the Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire right. sauce. About a half a tablespoon. We're gonna use some mayo. We took the label off because they didn't pay us, so. Period. Cut the check. Mm -hmm. We use about a quarter cup of mayo. Alright, and we're gonna mix that all up. A pinch of salt. Some fresh cracked black pepper. And of course, we gotta use some of the Chef Junior all purpose spice. Mm -hmm. This thing goes on everything. I'll put that shit on everything? Everything. Okay. Alright, you go ahead and mix that up. Oh, my bad. All right, so my next question for you is, did you see that clip of the girl that said her dude upgraded her lifestyle, so even after they broke up, he still got to pay with her lifestyle? Yeah, I saw that. How you feel about that? Um, I'm supposed to be on the girl side or whatever for girl code, but just get in there like that. Yeah. Um, I have never been taken care of by a guy, except for my father. And I've been out of the house since I was 17. So, like that was just a little, it was just a little weird to me. And if you are dealing with a guy who got money and all of that, like why are you not figuring out a way to finesse so that when y'all do break up, or you know, it do get a little rocky, that you could, you will be straight. Right. You know, why are you expecting a dude to continue to take care of you Far after the relationship is over, it's a little bizarre, but I mean, to I feel like it's a, a sense of entitlement. Yes, like, I, I felt that too. I felt that too. But different strokes for different folks. Everybody, you know, right? People get by how they get by, and if that's you know that's her lifestyle, that's what she used to, that's what she's accustomed to, then she doesn't know any right, all right, anything different. We're gonna use some breadcrumbs to kind of hold everything together. So we want to go in a little bit at a time. We don't want too much breadcrumbs, but we want a little bit. Okay. So we're going to start off with about a quarter cup and then we're going to go from there see if we need more. Okay. All right, the way you tell if you need more breadcrumbs, kind of put some in your hand to see if it stays together. A little bit more breadcrumbs, yeah, a little bit more. How do you feel about repeat outfits? <laughs> you can repeat them, you just can't take another picture. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm so serious about it. I go to my Instagram and delete the whole post. <laughs> if I want to wear it for the day, go archive it real quick. Then if I don't take no pictures in it, just add it right back to the profile. But why? Because you just can't see me in the same thing on my Instagram at the same time. Who's, who's more judgmental about that? Is it the guys or the girls? I don't know. Is this good? Yeah, it's good. I don't know. I think it's a me thing. It's a you thing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if my friends uh, do that. Like if they go on, on guys' Instagram and see how, because I'm going to look and see how many times you wear them jeans. I saw a post that said, uh, it's male privilege because men can wear the same outfit multiple times and nobody say nothing, but females can't wear the same outfit without getting judged. I think but I feel like true. it's the females judging the females. So is that really male prayers or females just hating on each other? The thing about it is when, cause guys, y'all have to do so much to like put a fit together. Like y'all gotta be like designer all the way down from head to toe. 
We gonna have some shit from February 21. Or, or, or Rainbow. Yeah, no, not Rainbow. Not Rainbow? No, Ra come on, don't do some shit. <laughs> we ain't <laughs> going to <laughs> <in> that Rainbow. <laughs> what's, nah. what's wrong with Rainbow? Rainbow's booped in the motherfucker, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> we not gonna be at Rainbow, but. I mean, we, like, can't, we can't be discriminated against the, Rainbow. The only thing that gotta be like really like, you know, to the T done is like makeup, hair, and stuff, and your, you know, your outfit, your nails, and feet and stuff. But y'all have to have the chain, y'all gotta have a cut, y'all gotta right. have the earrings, y'all gotta have the Mary G's, and then the Balenciaga shoes. And then, you, you know, the Dior. The Dior, yeah. you know, yeah. Uh, you know, gotta have a Rolly. Yeah. You know, I'm saying, talk, talk I'm saying you, you know, gotta have a, the, um, what's this called, babe? The Cartier. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This, this, yeah, this how we. gotta have all that. We had some uh, fake, you know, my, my jewelry, not fake. But we had like fake chains yeah. and shit on. Y'all go to y'all 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 go to Fashion Nova and order the chain off of Fashion Nova. Yeah, the fake bamboos that say LA. Right, right, yeah. Palm trees right, and right. shit. Yeah, y'all so, y'all 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 get away with more than I mean we get away with more than. Right, 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 right. So if we see a dude like drip down and stuff, he'll be like, oh, he got money. You get him. Yeah, but then it's this way to tell like if you drip down and then you stand in the club and can't get a bottle, we know. Yeah, that's a little of, weird. Cause right. I'll be looking for the steering wheel that matched the car. Yeah, who would, I heard that somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. you said it. Yeah, you said it on Hope Passions. Where, where's the steering wheel? That, that, that goes to the yeah, car right, right. Because <laughs> the nigga is pulled up on me in the Kia, but I thought he had a motherfucking the shit with the light. I mean the. Uh, the Wraith. The Wraith. I got lights in my ceiling, but I ain't got a Wraith. Ain't a Wraith. Ain't a Wraith. But he don't got a yeah. kid either. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? You picked the kid. No, 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 no. I got a Challenger. Okay. Yeah, so you know. Yeah, but the challenge are cool. Yeah, you know, yeah. But like, you're not faking it. Right, right, right. No, you're you know, not. Yeah. yeah, you're not. Yeah. So what I did was I put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan because this is what we're going to cook okay. the shrimp in, all right? Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the shrimp. Uh -huh. And like I said, we're just going to put it like that. We're going to take a little bit of the filling. Mm -hmm. Make a little ball. And we're going to put it like that. Do I change these? No, because you really, yeah. Okay. Oh, you about to get somebody signed dinner. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm about to do this in my car. <laughs> it's easy. Like that? Yeah. I feel like mine not staying like yours. Got to put a little bit more. Put more. A little more crap. Little more yeah, you know. We, we quiet right now because we focused. See what what are the questions I got for you? How did you how did you uh, hook up with no jumper? Um, so AD shout out to AD. That's my dog. Shout out to AD. AD called me one day and said, "Hey, Adam is looking for media personalities, and I mentioned you. So I've been on AD since I first ever started doing what I do with media and rappers and stuff. Uh -huh. and he's been one of the people who's been like hella supportive. And, and AD is a solid dude. Yeah, AD. yeah, for sure. And um, um, yeah, so he pretty much just was like, you know, Adam's looking for personalities. Um, can you pull up to the studio and such and such? Day? So I end up coming. We end up doing a um a show where I co-hosted with him and Adam uh -huh. and then the pandemic happened. Okay. So after that, I didn't hear anything. It was just like, you know, I mean, you know what happened. The world shut down right. or whatever. And, um, um, after that, Rosecrans Vic contacted me. Said, hey, Gina, Adam wants to give me a show. I want you to be my co-host. Are you down? And, um, shit, that's pretty much how it happened. I um, was supposed to actually be on a D show. So AD, you know, he has his show at the right, end of the day. Right. And um, I was supposed to be on a D show. And then AD like went out of town. Like some like wild shit happened. He went out of town. Um, Vic called me. And then um, we went into the studio with Adam. We did like a photo shoot and stuff. And they just decided that I would do Vic show instead right. of um, a D show. But that's pretty much how it happened. So you team Big League? I'm team Lil League. Shout out to my girl Yazzie. <laughs> Shout out to Yazzie. Shout, Shout out to Yazzie. Yazzie. <laughs> so you team Lil League. It's, I'm this team, team Lil this, League. This team Big League over here, you know. Okay. Shout out to my guys, AD, OT Genesis. <laughs> team Big League over here. So we're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on top of there like that. Go throw some lemon slices up in here. And this is 
pretty much done. We're gonna throw it in the oven for about 15, 30, 15, 20 minutes. Okay. And we're gonna pull it out, we're gonna plate it up, and we're gonna eat. Okay. All right, so put this in the oven. Oh, this, this, this is one of those good pans, so you can put the whole pan in the oven. You know, this ain't that yeah, cheap I was wondering, anymore. I'm like... Yeah, we put, the, we put in the whole pan in the oven. All right. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna clean up right quick and we're gonna get this stuff out the oven. We're gonna plate it up and we're gonna eat, but we're gonna continue to talk to June of Views and we're gonna see more about her, all right? So we'll see y'all in a little bit. Peace. All right, so now that we got our little section cleaned up, we still got some stuff that we gonna use, but now we are gonna jump more into the personal side of Gina Views, <gasps> ask some more questions. Not too personal, but we gonna, okay. you know, jump. and while we're doing that, we finished our wine, so we gonna drink some of our homies, Ron Riaz. Rozzy? Riaz. We'll do that over. What's it, Ron? Ron, Ron Riaz. Ron Riaz, right? Shout out to Ron Riaz. <clears throat> so we gonna drink some of our homie Ron Riaz. This is the, which one is this called? The Mai Tai, so we're gonna drink some of this. I like how you're holding that glass. Very sophisticated, like. Sophisticated, huh? Right. Mm-hmm. Here, you get a little bit more. All right. Yeah. We're gonna save this bottle, too. You know, black folks, we like to recycle. We're gonna put some, like, Casamigos or something why in here. Why do we keep all those? I don't know. I don't, I don't think we know why we keep them. We just keep them. <laughs> like, my, my bro, he got, like, his, you know, all the empty bottles, I'm like. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to toast to this. That's delicious. All right, Ron. Um, the thing about his drinks, they creep up on you. Yeah. They don't taste like they have any alcohol in them. Ron trying to have me on my ass. Right, right. So you're going to cook this meal for your boo. You already tipsy. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. um, what made you want to take that leap of faith? I saw you put in your two-week notice. Uh... What made you want to take that leap of faith? I'm just ready to close that chapter of my life of being Regina, and I'm ready to be Gina Views full time. I did get a, a another position at No Jumper. Okay. I haven't announced it yet. Oh well, by the time this comes out, so I'm doing public relations at um, No Jumper, running their social media. Y'all yeah, heard it first. I got the exclusive. <laughs> Chef Junie gives you the, got exclusive. the exclusive. I have not told anybody yet. Okay. Um. So shout out to Adam. Shout out to Josh at No Jumper. They gave me an opportunity that it was just like I had to freaking take it, just because of the simple fact. Like I said, I'm tired of being Regina. I want to be Gina Views full right, time. Right. And I'm in an environment where I can learn and grow from, you know, right, other people. Yeah. And um, that's been my goal this entire time, to replace my 9 to 5 with another, you know, job paying situation. For that, Gina Views. Exactly. Right. That's cheers, gonna, to, cheers to that. Yeah. Go cheers to that. I just need it to be an environment where I can learn and grow. And um, I needed an industry, you know, job. Right, the right. job I'm doing is a corporate job. It has nothing to do with media. It has nothing to do with music, entertainment whatsoever. So it's not really feeding your soul at all. It's not feeding my soul. I learned a lot um, as far as, you know, like being a professional and learn how to, you know, talk to certain people in certain fields right, and right. things like that. But I'm tired of being, I'm ready to be a nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> these people don't even know who they talking to every day. Right, right, right. I'm talking to these CEOs and heads of these companies. They don't even know that I'm a nigga all right. the line, you know? I'm tired of using my work voice. I want right. to use my home you're voice. Tired of using your white person voice. Exactly. Your corporate exactly. voice. Exactly. You want to say, what the fuck you want? Yeah. You know? so I'm what, saying that this week. This is my last week. Yeah. I'm saying I'm, huh? Boy, fuck you. Right. All week. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last week. Boy, fuck you. Meet me in the parking lot. Her you got a problem? E email. Boy, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I um, I just needed to. I, I felt like working there. It was kind of like stunning my growth. Holding you back. Yeah, it was pretty much holding me back. And my birthday's in August, so by the time my birthday comes, I'm not trying to be at that organization. Right, right, right. I want to do what I want to do for me. Right. Well, I'll figure you on that one. I've been I've been self-employed for. Two years, actually this month, two years, you know. So I feel you on that one. Thank you, thank you. Were maybe you, you nervous? Maybe, was I nervous? I was, no, not really. I had a plan. Mm -hmm. So I knew once I said, you know what, fuck this. I'm not doing this no more. Yeah. I already knew that I wasn't gonna fall on my face. Mm -hmm. Cause I believe in myself that much, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna sell plates. Then quickly realize, 
I'm not a selling plate type of chef. Yeah. I don't want to sell plates from the house. Yeah. No offense to anybody that do that. Yeah, right, That's right, just right. not me. I'm a higher caliber. That's not your call. Right, right. Yeah. So then I did that and shout out to my boy Bobby. He saw the vision. He saw the dream. Mm -hmm. We're like, we're going to take this shit, this YouTube shit to the next level. Yeah. I'd rather do my own personal chefing with celebrities and stars mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And, you know, so, you know, we talk more about that when I come on your podcast. And, yeah. yeah we'll, we'll get more details about that. Pull up on me. Yeah, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up with some food and everything. We're gonna have a good you time. We're gonna eat. We're we gonna eat, we're gonna drink, we're gonna talk. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, I see myself being the Angie Martinez of my era. That's so, that's that's big shoes to fill. Yeah. I, I I feel you got it though. Thank I, you. I believe in you. In LA, the market is not black women for you know music and entertainment right. as far as media is concerned. It is Hispanics. Right. It is um, Caucasian, and there's not really a market like that for black journalists or, you know, people that's black women in, right, in right. hip hop. Yeah. It's predominantly, out here, it's predominantly Hispanic. Right. So, um, I just want to be the person who, you know, in the next 10 years, the next decade, when you see her, you know, we'll see those pictures of Free and Bow Wow. Right, right, like right. That. Like, that was history. Right. And I want to make history, and... I feel like I've been doing it, doing that so far with, you know, I discovered a lot of talent before right. they were, you know, before the labels discovered them, before the radio right, discovered right. them and stuff like that. So I just want to put on for LA and I, I want to make a difference and I want to make history. Let's talk about more of your, 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 the artists that you put on before they be pop. Like, let's talk about more of these rap ciphers that you've been doing. Um, so before um, Reason was discovered by TDE, okay. I worked with him. Fino, right. uh, Rucci, um, and the list goes on. Like, I I, I interviewed Kaylin before Kaylin even knew he could sing. How, how did you, like, get into these uh, rap ciphers, these, these rap battles, or these, like, you just did one for Revolt, right? Yes, I that, did. That's, that's huge. Thank that's you. Huge. Thank you. Um, so pretty much the way the Cyphers came about, I would interview, you know, all the up and coming artists in LA or whatever. And the season finale for GSO TV was a Cypher. Right. I just wanted to hear how everybody rolled the beat at the same time. Right. Pretty much just producing content that I wanted to see. I love the Hip Hop Award Cyphers. Right, like, right, That's yeah. something that I just, I, I died for the Hip Hop right. Award Cyphers. That's, I think that's what everybody watched, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. I I was the kid, you know, at 6 o'clock running home on Fridays to watch Freestyle Friday. Right, right, yeah. So pretty much I was just producing the content that I wanted to see. Right. And, um... Slowly but surely, I became the cypher girl in L.A. because it was no other content, right. you know, like what I was putting out. And um, I'm a fan of, like, mixtapes, like mixtape Weezy, mixtape Fabulous. Right, like, right, yeah. I like to hear what other artists can do on other people's beats. Right, yeah. So um, that's how pretty much how the cyphers came about. Who was your favorite from Freestyle Friday? Um... I'm going to say Blind Fury. I was going to say Blind Fury. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna say Blind Fury, uh, just for the simple fact that my favorite uh, freestyles were the ones where they were reference current shit uh, that was actually going, going on, on right. within, you yeah. know, within the facility. And I think he bodied that, and especially being blind. He's still like I follow him on TikTok. He's still bodying these freestyles. Oh really? All day long. I haven't caught up on him. Yeah, I still follow him on TikTok, and he be like bodying these really? freestyles. He's still one of my favorites. And the Asian dude, what's his name? Jin. I don't know his name, but I don't know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, he, he was one of my favorites. He was mm -hmm. one of my favorites. Um, you have your own line of bonnets, right? Yes. <laughs> How do you feel about Auntie Monique and her statements about being presentable in public and not wearing bonnets in public? Um, I think people's perceptions are based on their own experiences. Mm -hmm. So being that she feels like we shouldn't have those outside, that's because she comes from a certain era that you gotta be beat to the motherfucking teeth right. every time, you know, you step outside. And I think our era, we're more of a relaxed era. When I think about me wearing bonnets at an airport, it's because I know that I'm about to go to sleep right. on the plane. You right. know? I wanna wear some type of clothing where, you know, I can, you know, essentially take a nap or something like that. So I'm gonna wear a sweatsuit. Right. I might wear some fucking pajamas to the airport because I'm about to take this five hour flight. You just wanna be more comfortable. But the generations before us, like, I don't think that um, a, a woman being comfortable was 
not the thing. Right. Women were, were more comfortable being uncomfortable to be presentable. Right, right, right. You me. get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go outside. And f- I, when I leave my house and go to the grocery store, I want to still have my fucking bonnet on. I want to still have my fucking, you know, my flexi rods. Yeah. I'm not trying to be did up to go to the grocery store. But our grandmothers... And our mothers, they was getting did all the way up. Just, just to go to the a, corner just store. Just to go to fucking Target. Right. You know? Yeah. So I just think that we're a more relaxed era, more relaxed generation. And that's why it's cool for us to do it. But, you know, times change. Yeah. Yeah. Times change. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, <laughs> we going to check on these shrimps. <laughs> We gonna check how you on, feel about it? Because I heard something about you. We're going to check on these how shrimps. How you feel about it? Um, I think certain situations a bonnet is called for like like you said if you go on a plane and you know you're about to go to sleep and mm-hmm. you know but when i be seeing uh, we're gonna check on these shrimp <laughs> and after these shrimp we're gonna get he more into, to get we, we're gonna get more into gene abuse we're gonna check on these shrimp they should be almost finished we're gonna pull them out plate them up and have some more of this conversation going on all right so we'll see y'all in a little bit peace So we got these out the oven. I avoided that last question. We got these out the oven. We're gonna go ahead and plate these up. Make we can it, go back into that last question. This, this is my favorite part of the segment is plating, uh, cause it's like art. Okay. So you gotta make the food taste good, but you also gotta make it pretty, mm-hmm. all right? So we're gonna plate these up. We're gonna get into some more questions. Um, but th- right now I'm gonna chop up some of this parsley unless you wanna chop it up. No, 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 you do that cause I'm not really a plater. Okay. My plates be looking real like, Struggle, like a kid, struggle, plate. Struggle, struggle plate. Yeah, struggle plate for sure. So we just gonna. So you go ahead and plate that. <laughs> We're just gonna chop up a little bit of parsley for garnish. Add some color to the plate. The way you just do it, just so like it. Oh 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 oh. You know, it's, it's, yeah. the, it's not me. It's the knife. It's the knife. Okay. It's the chef Jimmy knife. You guys want to order this? We're out of stock, but we will get them back <laughs> soon. We they sold don't know out. what's out of stock. It's back order. Oh, it's back order. It's yeah, back it's back order. order. Place your order now. Mm-hmm. You'll get it when you get it. Exactly. Uh, so we're going to chop that up a little bit. Um, you made me forget what I was going to do. You was going to do something. I was going to ask you something. What was I going to ask you? You was going to talk about the bonnets that you skipped over that question. Remember that last uh, question you asked? So over? I heard you real good at double no, dutching. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, yes, I do enjoy double dutching. Well, well, like, where did that come from? Like just growing up. Here we yeah. play middle school. Yeah. That's what we used to do at recess, just double dutch. I can't I can't double dutch, but I could bowl. You could bowl? And I saw you like challenging people to bowling the other day or something. You was going out. I had I was with I was with um uh, with Blueface. Right. And we were bowling. And I see I saw And that. I had I bodied it. I'm saying, but like Yeah. That was Blueface. Yeah, you but, didn't go, you didn't but Blueface has shown us that he can do all things. Right. But he couldn't beat me in bowling. But that was not Chef Joni. Oh, so I'm saying like it sounds like you want to get it cool. I'm saying we, you know, we can get it cracking. Y'all you, got some. You get your crew. Y'all got some this fancy ass house. You get your crew. I get my crew, <laughs> and we can put a little wager on it. You know, I'm, I'm taking her with me. No, no. Yes. No, okay. I'm taking her with me. I'll, I'll take Grant. Taking her with me. I'm taking her with me. All right. So it's guys versus girls. Yeah, that's and, what it sounds like. And when we win, shirts versus gloves. Sure. <laughs> You, you talking real reckless like Lucky Strike not down the street. I'm saying though, it's like... Because we could go. If you want to get into it, me, we can get into it. Say less. We ain't even got to plate this. We out of here. We going to the bowling. <laughs> 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 but nah, let's plate this up. Okay. Um, You need some more drink? Because this question, next question is about to be... Give me some more. Let's, let's give her some give more drink. Give me some more that Ron Reyes. Now, I want your truthful answer to the next question. Can I, y'all got to skip uh, cards? Like no, what? we ain't got no skip. Nah, there ain't no skip. you skipped over a question. I didn't, I didn't. So if you skipped over and I can skip over you gotta, one. You got to prove it. Prove that I skipped the question. It's recorded. No, it's not. These cameras ain't, these cameras is for fake. It's your idiot. Cover that. I want to cover that. Okay. These cameras is for fake. Go ahead, go, throw it on me. So you got the segment, whole fashions. Uh-huh. People behind the computer typing in, hey, I did this, hey, I did that, right? Anonymous. Mm. What is your whole fashion? Just 
so you know I'm a virgin. Oh, mm, so I'm a virgin. So no whole fashions. As of 2021. As of 2021. I'm a virgin. Six months in, seven months seven in. Seven months. All right, so eight. We got August. It's August. It's August. So, so, so pre twenty twenty one. I need a whole fashion story from Junior Views. None yet. <laughs> <laughs> None yet. Um. Okay. All right. Recording, right? Exclusive. <laughs> I want to hear this. I didn't say I was gonna tell you a story. Oh. I didn't say that. I said all right. All right. I said, all right, play. Just say, just play say, just say allegedly, and then it don't have to be you. No, that alleged shit don't work. If <laughs> say alleged to me, it's a problem for me. So where do you see? I'm skipping. <laughs> I'm skipping. Skip. Where, where do you see? Where do you see? Uh, <laughs> oh. Where do you see? Um, where do you see whole fashions going? I think whole fashion should be on oxygen. Oxygen? Yeah, when I was a kid, it was this old white lady that used to talk about sex on oxygen. Oh, yeah, remember, yeah, right. Real old. Yeah. Like, old as fuck. I think how fashion should be on oxygen. Why do you think, like, all right, so we got these podcasts, like, Car, Call Her Daddy. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the other one uh, with Wheezy? Um, horrible Decisions. Mm-hmm. What do you think the excitement or the, the thrill is behind these type of podcasts where women are, like, sharing their sex stories and sharing what goes on in the bedroom. For me, I think it's like, because they have a lot of guy followers. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that 1-900 line that you used to call back in the day. I feel like that's what guys get out of it. But what do women yeah. get out of it? I think women get out of it the um, reality of it's not only me. Okay. So a lot of women probably watch these shows or, you know, they at home talking to their homegirls and stuff like that. And they feel like the experiences that they go through are just them. Right. But it's like, no, I'm not the only one. I can identify with every freaking person who's ever submitted a story to whole sessions because I done dealt with some ghetto shit happening or I done dealt with, like we said earlier, the kind of being lost or, you know, like certain situations and you're like, damn. She went through that shit too. I experienced that too. Do you do you think like you would eventually turn it into like a full on podcast, like a, a hour, two hour, and having different guests on? Because I could see that going there. Yeah. Because when I sit there and listen to the the fifteen minutes, I'm like, damn, I want more. I want more. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm actually working right now on having whole fashions transition into a. Um, a cartoon. A cartoon? That'd be dope. So yeah, I wanted Whole Fashion to be an animated series, um, but I also want to do something where I continue to do, you know, the anonymous sex story, right. but we get a, um, a physical person there telling their story. Sort of like a Gina Corner type of thing. Right, right, right. So that's what I'm working on now, but um, definitely I do, I feel what you come with, you know, where you're yeah. coming from, that it do need to be a little bit extended, but... Everybody, I think, would like how you said earlier, you know, you watch all these podcasts, all these people, you got lip service. Lip service, right, right, right. I think she the one that kicked it all off. Yeah, she right. Um, it's cool to have a homegirl at right. home. Right, 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 right. So you can turn on your TV and see the homegirl at home, and I think that's what I provide people. I'm sitting in my living room or my bedroom, you sitting at home or you at work or whatever, and it's like, that's my homegirl. She's telling me, you know, right. some sexual activity, some crazy shit that I can identify with. How do you feel about the stripping culture? Stripping ain't nothing but a sport. Right. Because I have this really yeah. amazing friend that put out this amazing documentary. Mm-hmm. It's called Pleasers. Mm-hmm. And she follows these strippers around and kind of like interviews them to to take the stigma away because you hear oh all strippers are drug addicts or all strippers are hoes or all strippers are prostitutes so she kind of stripping she kind of like like human humanized there's been too much liquor but she kind of we're drunk right 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 so she kind of like you might have to call this shit out (laughs) (laughs) she kind of shows that that stigma behind strippers is not bad these girls come from good homes these girls come from not broken families and they not drug yeah. addicts and I think it's a pretty dope uh, documentary. You should check it out. It's on YouTube. This is what I'm gonna say. She won a um, 
Santa Monica Award Film Festival. Oh, really? If you didn't know, that's Asia right there. So shout out to Asia. Ah! <laughs> Come on, please! <laughs> Period! Come on, please! <laughs> oh, yeah. My, this is my thing with stripping. I feel like the generations before us have made it sound and seem so fucking bad that we hear about stripping and stuff and we, you know, we talk about it like it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. When you Google the definition to gymnastics and stripping, it says it's the strippers. same fucking thing. They have like the Barbie Coast picture right there. <laughs> King Henry. No. It's niggas like you. <laughs> Who the fuck is saying It's niggas just like, just like Junie. Wow, what's wrong? Like what's, Chef Junie. what's wrong with stars? Nothing. Yeah, you know. But look. I, I got some friends that work in stars. I used to work in stars. Shout out to stars. Yeah, they Shout closed out to down. Shout out to Cheetahs. I mean, we ain't worried about those. We talking about the hood shit. Barbary uh, Coast, King Henry, stars, you know? What's the live, the live, the live strip on Imperial? All I know is Secret Sundays. Shout out to them. But, um, no, the, the definition to gymnastics is the same thing as stripping. And I feel like our, you know, like I said, the generations before us, they put a bad name on stripping and now we look at it as bad, but all of these women are not fucking drug addicts. Right. They're not prostitutes. They're they dancing. Right. They're fucking dancing. Right. Stripping needs to be classified as a sport. As a sport. Because them bitches is motherfucking should they, athletes. Should they be I in, could never run, walk around that, that polo like that. Should they be in the Olympics? They should be in the Olympics. I, I, I watched that game. They should be in the I Olympics. Watched, I watched the polo Olympics. Because would you look at it as bad if they were fully clothed? I look at and it they boring. Was just the I would look at it as boring if they was fully. But cool. they doing the same thing. Right. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Now, all jokes aside, it's an amazing documentary. You should check it out. Everybody, check out, please. Just on YouTube, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Like I said, they win in all kind of awards right now. So check out that documentary. It's like they probably like the only people. Remember when B Live was in Carson? Mm -hmm. They probably the only people that got footage from B Live. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's pretty dope. So y'all check out that documentary. Um, we gonna finish make this look pretty. Take a little bit of green stuff. You yeah. looking like Salt Bay. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Better than Salt Bay. Go ahead, go ahead. You do it, you do it, you do it. Because I don't want nobody to clip it and say, Chef Judy dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see you get your Salt Bay on. Alright, there's a glove on, huh? Yeah, you gotta, the get, the, you gotta get the glove. If the glove don't fit, you, you must, must have quit. quit. Shout out to OJ. Okay. This enough? Yeah, you know, this. Yeah, that was there somebody we go. Yeah. Said something. right. Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, good. Uh, you know, you uh, got a little chicken arm in there, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might got a little bit too much green right now, but yeah, we knit right now. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> We're going to take these are my favorite flowers, if y'all okay. didn't know. Everybody that watched my channel know these are my favorite flowers. I'm going to put one like that, like that. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this. These are called microgreens. Like these are cilantro and all kinds of stuff. They're micro. They, they they grow differently. So they're real smaller and real prettier for the plate. All right. We're going to take some of this and just mm. make that plate nice and pretty like that. Oh. And there you have it, everybody. Chef Junie's crab stuffed shrimp. With that Chef Junie seasoning, we got crab meat in there. We got some mayo in there. We got some red bell peppers in there. A little bit of lime juice. It's amazing. You guys should try it out. If you like this recipe, make sure you try out this recipe. All right. What are we doing with the butter? I was drunk. I forgot the butter. <laughs> <laughs> One thing a nigga don't do is me. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. 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 Yeah. <laughs> nigga talking about a whole green. Yeah. Shout out to Ron Riaz. Ron Riaz. Ron Riaz. Yeah, you fucked us up with this one, Ron Riaz. All right. So last thing, we're going to get the pictures. We're going to taste the food. And I got one more question to close out the segment, all right? This is the one. This is the one. This is the one they don't want me to ask. Oh, all right, go. Well, I'm not asking anyways. Fuck it, go. So we're going to wait. We're going to let, let Lester take okay. these pictures. And I'll see y'all in a minute. We got the last question. We're going to close out the show, all right? Peace. All right. First of all, Ron, you fucked us up with this. He did what he had to do. He did what he had to do. We he lit right that. now. Um, there you have it, everybody. Chef Junie's crab stuffed shrimp. It looks pretty. Gina put her little salt bay on it. It's nice and pretty. 
you know, if you guys made it to this part of this video. Oh, wait, I got one more question for you. <gasps> Oh, I, got, I thought you forgot. I got one more question, question for you. Because question that production didn't want you to ask. They didn't want me to ask oh. it, but I'm going to ask it. What? All right, right. So somebody come up to you, right? They got this button. I, actually, let me let me put a, a disclaimer. I stole this question from T-Pain, the big homie T-Pain. I know you watch my YouTube videos. You hit me up and say, yo, Chef Junior, I sell your videos. I love it. You know, so I, I brother, if you see this one again, I stole this video. I mean, I stole this question from you. If you guys haven't checked out T-Pain's podcast, go and check out T-Pain's podcast. He asked this question at the end of his podcast. This is going to be the only time I ask this question, all right? So don't be mad at me. Somebody come up to you with a button, mm -hmm. right? They say, yo, Gina, I got this button right here, uh -huh. right? Once you press this button, you ain't got no choice. You have to press it. Okay. Once you press this button, mm -hmm. you get whatever you want, whatever, whatever it is you want. Okay. No matter it is, what it is you want, you get it, uh -huh. right? Not, nothing money, because everybody's going to say money, right? Right. You push this bunny, button, you get money, right? You have you have to push the button. Uh -huh. But the only catch is, after you push this button, somebody in the world have to die. They're going to die anyway. <laughs> we was born to die. <laughs> but you don't know who it is. That you, ain't none of my fucking business. It could be somebody close to you. But... We was born to die. It could be, it could be Adam. I'm from the, don't, don't It could be, it don't could be anybody. It could be anybody. I pressed the button before you said that name. It could be AD. I pressed the button before you said it that It could name. be anybody. I didn't know who died. It could be, uh, it could be Hitler. It could be a racist. Fuck it could Hitler. be, it could be anybody. You don't know who it is, right? Mm -hmm. You ain't got no choice but to push the button. This is the thing. The world has Wait. like a trillion, kabillion people. Right. right. So the what question is, is what? Would that one thing be in order for you to push that button? For me to get my, like, everything I want? Yeah, whatever you want. What would that one thing be? What would it take for you to push that button? Like, it could be anybody you know. It could be somebody you don't know. I want um, longevity. You hear that, Adam22? She's going to push the button, <laughs> and she's going to get longevity. And Adam it might take tripping, you out. Though. Adam not tripping, though. Adam ain't tripping. Adam cool, Adam dude. Adam not tripping. Adam... I would want longevity. Come check with me. I would want to bring my sister back. I want to bring my grandmother back. You only get one thing. No, you didn't say that. Uh, yeah, you, you said whatever I wanted, nigga. <laughs> you said whatever. But, okay. <laughs> you said whatever. Okay. I might want some motherfucking gumbo that day. Gumbo? No. Yeah. All right, so we got, you only could get one thing. What would that one I thing be? I want to be debt free. Debt free? Look, you can't tell me one thing because I can't place my finger on one thing. I liked it better when you said whatever I want. Now, now we breaking it down. What, we breaking it down by wishes and what, shit. Whatever you no, want, no, no. one thing that you want, whatever it is. I'm not killing nobody for that. What is it? Just one thing. I'm not pressing the button. You have to. Fuck the button. You got. Fuck the button. The dude is sitting there with the one arm. He's like, yo, you gotta fuck push him in his little arm. But then. <laughs> but. Fuck him in his arm. Fuck his arm. Fuck his arm. Fuck his Cheers, arm. Cheers, everybody. Now, if you say whatever, I'll kill everybody in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Chef Junie's TV. This is Chef Junie's. What is this? This is Chef Junie's Crab Stuffed Shrimp. Shout out to Ron Riaz. Shout, shout out to Ron Riaz. <laughs> we got Gina Views. We got this bomb ass food. We're going to go ahead and taste this. You want to taste it? I want to taste it. You taste it. Which one are you going to taste? I want the fattest one. I think it's that one right there. Yeah, I look, feel like you had your eye on that one. I did, but you can have it. All right, look. I don't like when people watch me eat, though. I mean, this is only like 100,000 million people watching. All right, I'm going to turn around and eat. No, you can't. I can't do that. Are these like appetizers? These could be whatever you want. She's gonna turn around and eat. Hey. Shout out to Ron Riaz. You did what you had to do on this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all already know this ain't no mukbang channel. That's Gina Views. 
I'm Chef Juni. If you guys made this part of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see any type of recipe videos and I'll do that for you. All the different links are in the comment the description box. I'm drunk. I'm lit. Shout out to Ron. Shout out to Gina Views. We out of here. Peace.